here at the Langley Speedway Racing League talking to Mr. Mr. Ernest Smith Jr., the man himself. Finished 12th in points last or this year. And again, we're going to ask him some questions. So here we go. Ernest, how long have you been racing at Langley Speedway in real life? Well, Mike, uh, I'm not fortunate enough to be able to race out here in real life. Uh, the money's just not quite there, but I've been an Irish in member since February. And uh, I got up with Hudson Hall. He's the owner of the Langley Speedway Irishing League. And, uh, you know, I started racing with these boys about three races into their season. And, you know, it ended up being a good group of guys. I had a pretty decent season. Uh, made a lot of friends. And I also made quite a few enemies. How do you feel about racing at South Boston Speedway tonight? Yeah, it was a big change from running Langley every weekend. Uh, when you run when you run one track every week for an entire season, you really start to get that track down pat. And uh, the level of competition that we have here at the Langley Speedway Irish League is, is like no other. You know, by the end of the season. We were within a tenth of each other, every race, and qualifying, race trim, you know, it didn't matter. Uh, we, we went over to South Boston tonight, and, you know, we were, we were in for a rude awakening. We, we thought the race was going to go a lot smoother than it did, and uh, it didn't really work out that way. We got a lot to work on. How do you think the car handled tonight? Like, did you make any adjustments to it during the 75 lap? Break intermission, or you know, like what? What did the car feel like? Well, Mike, uh, the car handled pretty good. You know, through practice, went in qualifying, scraped the wall in the first lap, so that one didn't even count. Uh, managed to skate by on the second lap, qualified 11th. Um, started the race, she was real loose on me, but it started coming in as the race went on. Uh, we must have made a way up all the way to third. Uh, that was before the break. And uh, we were there on the restart, and we just got, got taken out. That kind of ruined our chances. But, um, you know, that's racing. What can you do about it? What do you think was the reason for, you know, the downfall of your season, like you finishing 12th? What, what do you think the reason was? Well, my uh We're hidden by all the bad finishes, and we weren't consistent this season, and that's what I think ultimately ultimately ruined our chances of finishing the top five in points. We went real hard, get the car a little bit faster, get where I can drive it better, and uh, get where I can tell my crew chief. Working on that, and uh, we'll definitely up there contending for the championship in 2013. Is there anything you would like to say, Ernest, to everyone watching this? Yeah, I want to give a special thanks to Hudson Hall for putting this whole league together. Uh, he's really got a great thing going right now. And this is just our first season. And when you end your first season on such a good note like we did, you know, that, that ensures you that next year is going to be even better. Um, i got to give thanks to Dean Shiflett. He taught me everything I know about the race car inside and out. My buddy Jason, he helps me with the setups each and every week. Um, trying to get CS Motorsports on the map. I'd also like to thank Racing for Hope and Kent FX Energy Tablet and Moyak Automotive for coming on board with me at the end of the year. Um, I didn't have any sponsors there at the beginning. Uh, I'm glad they came on board. Pretty much it, Mike. I appreciate it.